Hello and welcome back. So in here, what we want to look at is how to preserve the values when during user sign up, in case the user makes a mistake when they're trying to sign up, then uh, we should be able to preserve the data that was in here. So for example, if I want to create a profile for Mary, I will say Mary, something simple at yahoo.com. And then maybe I don't put the passwords there just so we can get an error. So I will try to sign up and it will tell me some errors here. But then look, uh, my details are gone and this can be frustrating for a user if there are a lot of fields to fill in. So let's go to our, um, this is the sign up page. So inside views, uh, we are going to go to the sign up to PHP. Now, the idea with uh, MVC is that we want to avoid creating any logic inside our view pages. So we, tr we try as much as possible to keep it HTML only in here. The only time we need to use PHP is to echo out a few things or just do some simple if statements here and there or a few loops to loop through some data for display that is so any calculations and and such should be done inside the controller so at this point uh because the post variable is actually a global variable which means even inside these views i can easily call the post uh, for example in here where is value so we don't have value here so let's add a value on both of these I'm just going to add, set them to empty values. So at this point, what I could do is put the super global, that is the post data, and then just say um, something like email like that. Okay, so I will put my PHP tags here and use the shortcut echoing of PHP with an equal sign like so. So this will work fine. The only problem is when I load the page and I haven't posted anything yet, it's going to definitely generate an error. So let's imagine I haven't uh, put anything there. So you will see at this point that there's an error inside the value instead because it doesn't know what that is. So the thing is for me now to put an if statement in here to be able to check whether this exists or not, uh, actually, a simple if statement would work so there are two ways you could do this so the first one is if you go to the controller where is the controller here uh, sign up controller so right here you can create some default values and do all the evaluation then on the views you just echo whatever that resulting variable is so a second way to do it is to use the same glo uh, super global though it's unadvisable it's not advised to use global var variables here because if i want to copy this uh, signup.php page to another project it might not work if it's using a different system so um, just keep that in mind so what we could do is just ask the question is this set and then echo it so we could do that using a a question mark here so i would do something like is set let me leave a space so it, I can have some suggestions. So is set that and then put a question mark here. So this is that one liner if statement. And then I will put a full colon here and put some double quotes for empty and then close that like that. So let's see if this actually works. Okay, so at this point it's working. Now if I put an email and try to sign up, you see that the email stays there. So this actually works. And I think it's uh, good enough for this kind of thing. So it's an if statement here asking if is set post email. So if this is set, then let's actually display it here. But the full colon says, if it is not, just show an empty string there like so. So I can easily just copy this and put it there and then change this to name instead of email. Mm -hmm. 
Now, the other way to do it is just to create a, a normal variable inside data because we know that data, which is this one there, is available here. So we can say something like data name, the same way we are using post here, but we are using data. And in that case, we don't need to put an if statement. We can just echo data uh, name and data email right there directly. And then in the controller, what we could do is we can do the checking. So all this checking is done in the controller. So if it is set and it exists, then we assign it inside data, which will be echoed there. If it doesn't exist, we still assign it, but we assign an empty uh, string and then still echo the empty string here. But this works just fine. So I think it's okay. So I can go to the sign up page and do exactly the same. The login page. This is the sign up. Was it the sign up page? Yeah. So the password, at least, I think it's not a good idea to repeat the password because the user may forget what password they've typed in. So I think we will leave the passwords alone as they are. Then I will go to my sign up login actually inside the views so I can do exactly the same so I will put value here and paste that so email and here there is password so let's change this to password I think for the the login page it's okay to repeat the password so if you want to, you could still add the password thingy here, the value, so that uh, the second time around after the, some errors, it can still show you that. So let me try and resend this. Let me put a name here now. Like so, and sign up. Okay, so now everything stays put even after refreshing the page. Okay, so good there, just a little bug fix there, and I'll see you in the next video.